Well, my friends, today we're gonna kick it old school. We're gonna see if the crocodile spoon can still slay in 2022. It's one of the first fishing lures I ever used. Probably caught my first bluefish, my first striped bass, first trout on this lure. Well, let's see, from Hood River, Oregon, I'm guessing from the 1920s or 30s, these were introduced. So let's see if we catch anything on them. Until we find some fish, I'm gonna cruise, so I'm gonna cruise out on some like 30 to 50 foot, maybe 60 foot flats. Uh, I'm gonna just troll this XR8 before we get started. Let's see if we catch anything on that. And I'm not seeing much here. All right, let's see. 49 feet, I got a nice screen of bait. I'm gonna drop that croc spoon down. Gonna take a crank off the bottom, just squid this guy. Old school, baby, old school. As soon as I drift into about 60 feet, I'll bring it up on an angle. See if I get bit doing that. Oh, there's one. What happened there? It's almost like a foul hooked him. Or maybe it's a brown salmon, I don't know. Be a real big fish though. It's fighting a little different than a lot of the other fish have been. What do we got here, fellas? Oh, he's silver. So lake trout, rainbow trout, awesome. He ate that crocodile spoon. Different fight, different fish. Look at that, beautiful chrome rainbow trout. I, I crushed the barbs on that crock spoon to make it easy to release fish. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna pull the hooks on him, I guarantee it. I don't guarantee it, but I, near, I nearly guarantee I'm gonna lose this fish because he doesn't want to swim towards me. Well, maybe he's gonna come in there. Oh, we got him. I was nervous, but I was sweating bullets with that one, man. It's different uh, than the other ones. I crushed the barbs on these spoons because I thought lake trout were gonna be a handful to handle, but instead of a lake trout, we had ourselves a hammer of a rainbow. All right, guys, kicking it old school. Crocodile spoon, rainbow trap. Good size one at that. How awesome is that? This guy's sitting in the water. We got a lamprey in the net too. I'm gonna dispatch that thing quick. All right, killed the lamprey for sure. Get that board wet. As long as everything's wet, I think they usually do fine, right? And it's not hot. See that lamprey just attached right back onto him? It's a 26 incher. Good sized fish. <laughs> and the lamprey's been taken care of. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. Okay, so I did one slight modification to this lure. I crushed those barbs down because uh, I was expecting to catch mostly leg trout and those are pretty hard fish to handle. That fish hit as that spoon was fluttering down to the bottom. Um, that's why I closed the bale and he was on there. Let's retie. And he had a lamprey. 
where to put the lamprey. Yeah, maybe the lamprey fell through the, the, the well here. Um, possible. I killed it, so we know that. Um, but you're supposed to kill them. Oh, there's the lamprey. And we're gonna get back to fishing here. And it's windy. All right, that's the, the lamprey right there. So you're supposed to kill these things upon uh, catching them. Somebody said they're actually not, they might not be invasive. Are they native to all these lakes? I don't know, somebody said they're native. It's, it's a confusing looking um, thing that went on with them. So I'm not gonna call them invasive anymore, but still there's a kill upon catch order on them. Uh, as they decimate trout you know two i think i believe if two of these guys get on trout they say for the most part the trout will die so we took that off that that uh that trout and um yeah let's get back to fishing all right and for this spoon i'm going to use a loop knot it seems to get a little better action with that loop knot uh that wind is up I, hopefully these wind muffs are are helping I, that's a new thing i did i've probably had this crock spoon coming around with me it's my last like old old one it's over a decade old for sure i sure hope this wind fizzles out All right, i'm in 51 feet of water drop the croc spoon spoon croc spoon to the bottom i haven't marked a single thing besides one school of bait yet so i don't know if i'm gonna just long drift for a while or i'm gonna actively pursue Oh, sick croc spoon fish, baby. You know, lo loosen up that drag a little bit. He hit probably 20 feet off the bottom there. This feels like another rainbow trout. It is. Oh, it's a lake trout. He just acted a little, little crackheady on me. I thought it was gonna be another rainbow. That's all right. Hey, those count in my book. Just fine. Lake trout. Crushing those barbs definitely pays dividends when you want to release fish quickly, but if you want to keep fish, it'll definitely make it tough too. All right, crocodile spoon coming through. Nice lake trout right there. Mid 20 incher. Holy crap, man, this wind is relentless right now. We gotta get shallower. Man, this wind is cooking. I've got gusts over 20 for sure. I can't really fish this. Uh, and no one likes to hear excuses, I know. I think I gotta pack up. It's supposed to lay down this afternoon. I tried a different area this morning and I just didn't do well. And I got here like mid morning and within my first five minutes, I caught that rainbow. And now I'm not, uh, not able to stay on any fish that I'm marking. My drift is, if I'm not using the pedals, I'm flying over two, mi two miles an hour probably. So Finger Lakes weather forecast can be really um, unpredictable. Let me get myself back to the car and we'll pick up with those croc spoons, man. I wanna try to do a full video with them, see what we can catch. So I rigged myself up, three crocodile spoons, one ounce, five eighths of an ounce, and a, a three quarter ounce one. Yeah, I'm cruising, I'm looking for something to fish on. These look kind of quiet so far. Let's so zoom in a little bit. So this morning the fish were in like 50 to 70 feet. I just did not see anything in 50 to 70 feet right now. So I'm cruising through 40, 39. Oh, found some life. 50 feet. Okay. Okay, the croc spoon. How do you fish the old school croc spoon? Well, a lot of people troll it. But you can whip it off the bottom a lot of different ways. Found some life in 50 feet.
Got him. Oh, crock spoon, baby. It's awesome. Feels cool to do it old school, huh? It's one of the first lures I've ever fished with. Nice size fish here. Really nice size fish, fellas. This is a hoss. Go a little tighter, I guess, but if this guy's going. I'm using a lighter rod than this morning. Let's see if we're gonna PB alert here. Sure feels like we might PB alert this one. Not peanut butter, personal best. Put a little lighter tackle with this so we get more action. Um, bites on it because I wasn't too confident about going crock spoon down the crock spoon lands. Good fish. Definitely a good one. That is nice to see. Good, good size fish. Fighting harder than the ones in the morning, that's for sure. There it is. Croc spoon still does it. And look at that, just popped right out, I think. That's a good sized fish, man. Ate, ate that spoon. Pre hooked himself once there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Let's get you out of here, buddy. Guess that's a high 20 incher. Yeah, so the, when the barbs are crushed, especially fish you want to release and that are kind of difficult to handle, it's a good way to fish. All right, extremely difficult fishing, extremely. I unfortunately have to get back to North Carolina. So I, um, this year was probably the hardest <coughs> fishing the Finger Lakes have provided me in my at least for at least four or five years as I was learning them so this was the hardest for me to fish this um, seems like more lampreys I don't know I got to refine my rainbow trout skills that's what it is too they're around and I had one or two follows and I couldn't find the brown trout and salmon this year so every year is different you know what I'm saying so check the video's description for links everything we used always thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next video